To control or to enable. Building a rock wall is a really interesting experience because every rock has its own different sort of personality. It's different size, different weight, but you always put the bigger rocks, the heavier rocks, on the foundation. What I'm going to speak to you about today is one of those foundational principles for making your marriage work. Are you going to enable your wife or are you going to control her? Which do you want to do? Um, I'm making this video because I've seen something happen many, many times in many, many marriages that if they just change their attitude, things would get much, much better very, very quickly. Um, controlling someone actually means to put a stopper on them. Like for instance, if you have a, a bottle and you put a cork in it, well, nothing can get out. Now, for me, I've always felt that the best thing to do is to try to realize or find out what my wife's real passion is and then set her free to do it. And once I set her free to do it, the whole household, children included, are, are very, very much blessed. When people have a vision, everybody has something that really lights their fire. Um, the way that I describe it is this. If you're in a conversation with someone and you hit upon a certain topic or a certain subject and that retains all of their attention and every bit of their being is in that conversation, well, there's passion in that, isn't there? Well, that probably isn't far off from what their calling is. First of all, you have to realize what her passion is and then try to open doors for her. Don't close doors because when you close doors to your wife, what that means to her is she feels undervalued. She feels like she can't express that God-given passion that's been put in her by the Holy Spirit. But find out what it is and open doors for her. Try to help her to, to, to realize it. And when you try to open doors for your wife so that she can, can realize her passion and, and go for it, you've won a friend for life. She realizes that you as her husband is fighting in the same corner as her, that you've got her back, that you're, you really want what makes her happy. Enable her, stop controlling her. Because controlling her means that she can't express what God's put in her. Enabling her means that she can. Look at that Proverbs 31 uh, uh, scripture. My goodness, it doesn't say that she's sitting around having her husband telling her what to do. She's taking initiative. She's making business deals. She's doing things. She's active. And you know what? Her home prospers. The Bible says that her husband is happy at the gate. But you need to set her free. Don't control her. Set her free.